I was hoping to find some visual resource to compare all six versions of the Tyrannosaurus Minicons. While TF Wiki has been great, I did want to see them all side by side, so I had to do it myself. I've scoured the universe completing my infinity gauntlet of all six Tyrannosaurus Minicons. To go with them, I have a drink that I've dubbed the Savage Land. For this drink, you'll need bourbon, a cinnamon whiskey, lime juice, mango habanero hot sauce, and bitters. In a shaker with ice, add one ounce bourbon, three quarters of an ounce of cinnamon whiskey, a dash of bitters, an ounce and a half of lime juice, fresh squeezed is best, but use what you have, and a half teaspoon of that mango habanero hot sauce. Feel free to add a little more or a little less depending on how savage you'd like it to be. Shake it up and then double strain it into a glass with ice. I'm using an ice cube with red food coloring just for fun. You could also fill your ice cube with mint leaves or something for some extra texture. Otherwise, enjoy. Cheers. These are, as far as I'm aware, all six versions of the Transformers Tyrannosaurus Minicon mold. If I've missed any, please let me know. I use TF Wiki as my checklist, and these are the only ones that I saw. Let's take a look at each of these somewhat chronologically, and then check out the articulation and transformation. The first one we got was Terrorsaur, as part of a three-pack with other dinosaurs in the 2006 Classics line. Cast in green and gray plastics, this one features red and silver paint details with yellow T-Rex eyes. You just can't go wrong with a green dinosaur, and I would have stopped here, but the Power Ranger enthusiast in me needed the next one. Ransack, from the 2008 Universe line. This one, cast in red and gray plastics with silver highlights and lime green eyes, was only available in a 10-pack, which I believe was a Kmart exclusive. I appreciate that this one has a painted mouth cannon. Meanwhile, in Japan, Takara Tomy released another one of their Micron Booster blind box waves, containing two versions of this mold. The first being Nash Teeth, cast in metallic purple and gray plastics with teal and silver paint apps and red Rex eyes. A great stand-in for a tiny Beast Wars Megatron. The second version is called Chromebite, whose color scheme bears a striking resemblance to the Transmetals Megatron with the bronze and purple chrome. Chromebite was one of two chase figures from this set. Each case of blind boxes only contained one of the chase figures, so you'd have to hunt through at least two cases just to get a full set. Or do what I did and buy them on eBay a decade later. It wouldn't be until 2011 that we'd get another version released in conjunction with Dark of the Moon. This one, alongside a few other prehistoric beasts, came individually carded, each one done up in classic Dinobot colors. However, instead of being called Grimlock, this one is known as Dualor, or Dualor, I don't know. Like Pterosaur and Ransack, Dualor isn't the only Transformer with that name, and not even the only Minicon with that name. Looking up reviews of the other Dualor Minicon, I'm not the only one confused about its pronunciation. Though I do appreciate the red, gold, and glittery silver plastic and the white, black, and gold paint apps. The final version came out in 2014 in conjunction with Age of Extinction, or Lost Age as it was called in Japan, as this is a Toys R Us Japan exclusive. If you spent a certain amount of yen on Transformers from the film, you'd get a limited campaign figure for free. There were multiple figures, each one a translucent version of a previously released Minicon, which varied based on which week or month you made your purchase. This one is called Ivan, cast in gray and translucent orange plastic, with the only paint app being the silver on the robot face. Most of the articulation on these guys is due to the transformation, but we have rotation in the legs to a point. If you push them too far forward, they'll run into the body and more than likely pop off. This means that it can look up as far as you can imagine, but looking any lower than straight ahead is a no-go, which I think is silly. What is neat, though, is that you can move the upper jaw, revealing a mouth cannon. Even though it's just a friction joint, I found that the mouth stays open, so it can be roaring up to the sky going, why is my tail so damn short? Transformation is pretty simple. Fold the tail up to get it out of the way. Rotate both legs down. That should get them out of the way to rotate the waist, and you want the screw hole in the back. Then separate the upper body, but be careful not to break those tiny arms. These halves become the robot arms, so just rotate those down and you're good to go. My initial plan was just to see which of these I liked best and sell off the rest, but after completing the collection, I kinda don't want to split them up. Which is just fine, since at 2.5 inches tall, they don't take up much space on the shelf. Also, that Chromebite is pretty hard to find. I also didn't know that Ivan existed until I ran across it on Mandarake, and I'm thankful that TF Wiki exists as a resource to tell me that my hunt is over. 
If your hunt is just beginning, I wish you the best of luck. In the meantime, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, all those awesome things, and please drink responsibly.